Hi there. Today I'm going to teach you how to make acai bowls. Um, these are a great breakfast smoothie bowl with some superfoods blended in and you're going to feel awesome. It's a great start to your morning. So what is acai? Let's see. This is acai. And acai is a berry from the Amazon rainforest that boasts it boasts it as a superfood. So if you're eating acai, you're gonna be getting a lot of nutrition that you can't get from other fruits because this is a special one, I guess, from the Amazon rainforest. So you can buy these frozen packets at any, I got mine at Sprouts, but any um, farmer's market grocery store would have them in the frozen food section. All right, so I'm gonna get started. We're gonna use two packs of those acai berries. In addition, you can use a frozen banana to mix in with it or any other type of fruit if you want to. I'm going to use some frozen dragon fruit today because this is what I actually found at my sprouts that I thought, hey, that, that's different, that, that'll be good. So we're gonna do some exotic stuff today. We got the acai, the dragon fruit, but feel free to just throw in a banana or an apple or whatever you want to throw in with it, just one extra fruit. Um, or two. We've also got some frozen strawberries, so we can even throw a couple of those in as well. So the first thing we're going to do is get our high-powered blender. I'm using a Vitamix. You guys can use whatever you've got that's a good high-powered blender. And just follow me on over here. All right, here's our Vitamix right here. So to our Vitamix, we're going to add the liquid first. So the first thing we we're going to need is some almond milk or a dairy-free milk. I'll start with about a fourth to a half a cup of this. I think I'll start with a half because it's pretty frozen. We're gonna need a little liquid to kind of mix it in. So just a half a cup. Just like that. And to this, we'll add our frozen acai packet. Let's add either your frozen banana or your dragon fruit. I'm gonna use about the equivalent to how much a, a full banana would be. Look at those pretty colors in there. This is gonna be a very pretty bowl. Now, let's just add a couple of strawberries, why not? Stems and all. And let's blend that, guys. Now, you're for sure gonna need that plunger that comes with your Vitamix. Otherwise, you're gonna have to stop that blender a few times and squish it down in there and try to get it. We'll start on the variable speed and just turn it on. need to go to a high speed we have it the right consistency which is a lot like a thick ice cream um, this is not a pourable smoothie type of consistency that's why we don't add a ton of milk just a fourth cup to a half cup is all okay now the truth is this is really enough servings for one and a half people. So maybe an adult and a child, this would be good for. Um, or if you want to divide it equally, two adults would be, it would work, but you would get less. And that's okay because we're going to add a lot of toppings to it. Now, if you had blueberries or fresh strawberries or raspberries or kiwi fruit, now would be the time to put it on top of here. Since I didn't have any of that fresh stuff, I did have some apples. So I diced up um, just a little quarter of an apple. So I'm going to throw that on there. Got some apple on here. We're gonna add some homemade granola. Now this homemade granola um, is a recipe in my coronavirus diet. So if you would like this particular recipe, it's an amazing one. You have to go purchase that coronavirus diet. You'll love it. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some granola on there. All right, so I've got, I got my homemade granola on there, which is 
It doesn't have any gluten in it. It doesn't even have oats in it, if that's how amazing this is. That's what I think anyway. And then I'm gonna throw some pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds on there. Just a little bit more in there. I'm going to throw some coconut butter. This is a sweeter, sweeter than coconut oil. And just throw some of that on there. Just like that. So now we have a healthy fat in there from the seeds and the coconut butter. But I'm also gonna put some nutso on there. So this is cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flaxseed, chia seed, hazelnut, pumpkin, and Celtic sea salt. So those Brazil nuts have selenium in them, which is very helpful for strengthening your immune system and your lungs. So go for some of this. Anything that has Brazil nuts, go for it, okay? 